One minute to see how the Duyen burst is produced. This is a piece of wood. You let go, it will fall vertically down. When you press a pair of wings on him, his falling speed will slow down. At this time, there is a gust of wind. He will be carried out by the wind for a distance before falling. You want to make it fly faster. You can transform the wood into a triangular shape of a fighter jet, which can reduce drag. Wings that can rotate 360 degrees on the shore, as well as a tail that controls the direction, and three wheels for forward running. If it is windy, you can use a thrust engine instead. When taking off, the wings go up and let the airflow push it up. For balance, the tail is up, and the center of gravity is always kept at the rear. Turn on the engine and it can take off. You want to go faster, fold up the wings and tail, reduce drag and accelerate the engine. The air in front of it will be pushed away quickly, creating a pressure wave that propagates around. As the plane flies faster and faster, the sound waves it generates will be violently compressed in front of the plane, piling up and forming a wall of air. Once the plane reaches a speed of 340 meters per second, which is Mach 1, it will instantly burst through the wall of air. The moment of breaking through, all the compressed energy will reach your ears at the same time. The air pressure suddenly changes, and there will be a loud explosion in your ears. This is the yin storm. During a cloudy storm, the air is violently compressed and rapidly expands, causing the temperature to drop sharply, causing the water vapor in the air to instantly condense into small water droplets, forming a conical white mist that wraps the fuselage. These are the bogeymen. If you set off from our country's coastline at this speed, it would take you about 28 minutes to get over your unsavory neighbor's house and go on a bombing mission. It would probably take just over an hour from mission start to return.